It's time for State Farm's presentation of BCQ, the Black College Quiz. Here's your host, Nephew Tommy. What's up, everybody? I'm your boy, Nephew Tommy, and welcome to the Black College Quiz, the game show where college students from around the country compete, sharing their knowledge of history, culture, the arts, and much more, all in an effort to win their share of more than $100,000 in college scholarship. What? What? Now let's meet our contestants, starting with Miss Victoria Jones out of North Carolina Central University. How you doing? Good. You good? Yeah. You ready to have some fun? Yeah. Okay, all right. Now you majoring in, uh, what you majoring in? Chemistry. Oh, don't yourself. <laughs> you ain't been blowing nothing up yet or nothing. All right. And then we also have uh, Miss Farron Ressa <laughs> from Wiley College. That's out of Texas, right? Right. All right, that's Farron with a, with a P. PH, like phone. Yeah, what a, what a F at? Fair, fair, fair. fair. Phone. Okay. <laughs> you got an attitude about your name. <laughs> your name, your name. That's all right, though. I like all this here, though. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Last but not least, I got a man on the stage with me. Straight up out of Southern University, and him. Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Thomas Winton Hobart. What's up, man? What's going on? Tell me. Hey, tell me. Tell me what's going on. <laughs> tell me. What you majoring in, Thomas? Political science. Political science? Yes, we, we're going we're gonna to be a lawyer later? That's, what, that's where I'm headed. That's where you're headed? Absolutely. Johnny Cochran? Trying to get to that level. Trying to get to that level. All right. You know, OJ need help right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Let's kick this show off with our puzzle reveal. Y'all ready for that? Yeah. All right. Here we go. Category is Emmy Awards. 50 points. Uh-oh, Victoria. Charles S. Dutton. Go on with your bad self, girl. <laughs> Better known as Rock. You remember Rock? You, you're too young. To, oh, okay. <laughs> well, anyway, Mr. Charles S. Dutton, he won an, he's a, one outstanding guest actor in a drama series for his role in Without a Trace. Bad, bad boy right there. Let's slide on over to category number two, which is First Blacks, Silver Rights for 50 Points. Who hit it already? <laughs> they, they. That's right. <laughs> Victoria, they ain't, they ain't tearing their letter over yet. <laughs> okay, okay. May I try? Look at Thomas. He's like, I don't, I don't know how you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Victoria, I, I got to see this. Go ahead. National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. <laughs> How old are you, Victor? 21. 21. Yeah. Let's see here. My son's 17. <laughs> you, you believe in waiting on people? <laughs> my son ain't that smart right there. They ain't flipped the letter over. Y'all get that girl a bad round of applause right there. Come on here. All right. Moving over to category number three. The category is geography for 50 points. Victoria? Morocco. Morocco. Morocco, yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, Farron, Thomas? You, you know? Y'all all right? Yeah, I mean, y'all amazed by her too, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Next category, HBCU and famous attendees. Come on, Thomas. <laughs> oh, Victoria? Earl G. Graves attended Morgan State University. There you go, there you go. <laughs> hey, Thomas, you was getting there, though, brother. You was getting there. Yeah. All right, moving on to the next category. Headline news, 100 points. Thomas. What is this desegregation of public schools happen? 
because Brown versus Board of Education. Woo! There we go, Big T. Good job, my man. Let's move over to puzzle number six. It is category inventions for 100 points. Victoria. Bill Brooks invented the disposable syringe. Yep, that's it. We'll be back with more with Black College Quiz right after this. This presentation of Black College Quiz is brought to you by State Farm. For auto, home, life, and banking, get to a better state. And in part by McDonald's, deeply rooted in the community 365 days a year. And Walmart, save money, live better. Welcome back. We're about to get into some serious gameplay in the speed round. But first, let's hear from Victoria Jones. Boy, Victoria Jones, this bad girl. Roll the video. Um, one thing that you'd be surprised to know is that I volunteer with the Children's Orchestra. I did play viola back in middle school, and I still remember how to do <laughs> um, And I also have a younger brother named Victor, Victor and Victoria. Um, and we're named after the hymn, Victory in Jesus. And joining me is Miss Victoria. And Miss Victoria, not only do you, not only are you smart from what I've seen so far, but I understand you sing too. Yes. Yeah? And you sung for the First Lady, Miss Michelle Obama? The National Anthem. What? Right. So you know what everybody thinking right now. You know what's going through our head. Right. We want to hear <laughs> something. <laughs> <laughs> we want to, do we want to hear something? All of America's out there right now. Go ahead. Give me just a little bit. Beginning. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming. All right, all right. Go <laughs> ahead, okay, girl. Man, that's... <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Time to be about the business. You ready to get these points? Yes. All right, you got 60 seconds to answer seven questions. If you get all seven correct, you will get the bonus prize, which is a tablet. So, Victoria, right. you ready? Yes. All right, let's go. Start the clock. Music mogul and producer that founded Vibe Magazine. Quincy Jones. Name the author illustrator of the children's book, The Snowy Day. Keats, Ezra Jack Keats. B.B. King's best girl and trademark guitar is named? Lucille. When rapper Keith Cozart takes the stage, his name becomes? Chief Keith. Civil and women's rights icon who was an advisor to Eleanor Roosevelt? Dorothy Height. Tony Award winning choreographer for the music Fela? Bill Jones. President Truman ended racial discrimination in the armed forces with this law. Executive Order 9981. Give us up. Uh, good job, good job. Coming up, we got my girl Farron. She's going to be in the hot seat. But here's a little clip. You can find out more about her. The closer I get to graduation, the more I realize that uh, I subconsciously maybe chose Wiley because it was an opportunity for me to grow as a person, as a woman, as a leader, as a Christian. So growth and full academic scholarship didn't, didn't hurt. Joining me is beautiful young lady Farron from Wiley College. Farron, let me ask you what is, what's the craziest thing you experienced in college? I'm going to have to say, most certainly, uh, the random fire alarms that go off. Really? Yeah. Why is that? I mean, I mean you know, you could be, I don't know. I guess you have to do it uh, once or twice a semester. But you know, sometimes you're trying to get your hair done, or you're in the shower. Right, it's right. Just, I don't, it, it just interrupts everything mm, you're doing. Yeah, you never know. Uh, yeah. Well, you, you never know. Look like it didn't well, go no, off. It, did, it didn't go oh. off. No, it didn't go off. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to play? I'm ready. All right. Cool? Cool. All right, girl. <laughs> Come on. Start the clock. Music mogul and producer that founded Vibe Magazine. Quincy Jones. Name the author illustrator of the children's book, The Snowy Day. Pass. B.B. King's best girl and trademark guitar is named. Lucille. 
When rapper Keith Cozart takes the stage, his name becomes? Chief Keith. Civil and women's rights icon who was an advisor to Eleanor Roosevelt. Dorothy Height. Tony Award winning choreographer for the musical Fela. Pass. Pres President Truman ended racial discrimination in the armed forces with this law. Civil Rights Act 1964. Name the author, illustrator of the children's book, Snowy Day. Tammy Riverfield. Tony Award winning choreographer for the music Fela. Debbie Allen. That's it, time's up. <laughs> I think you did all right. I mean, I don't know how you did, but I think you did all right. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. We're gonna take a look at Thomas Winton Holbert. Here he is. Yes, sir. Uh, I, li I like social events. I also like, I'm, a, I'm not an athlete, but I'm a huge sports fan. Um, I also uh, like going to church. I'm, I'm norm, I'm a regular guy. I'm, I could be probably one of the best friends you could ever know because I know how it feels to be in need and I'm always open to help people if I could do that. My man Thomas. All right. All right, that's, this is Thomas and Thomas together. All right, get that straight. Thomas and Thomas, straight up out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Southern University. Yes, sir. Tell me about your hobbies, man. What you uh, like to do? Hobbies, I like to explore, discover, experiment. I like to see the world. I like to be open. I keep an open mind. Okay. I like to be, uh, I like to learn. You like to learn? Yeah, I like to learn. All right. But yeah. I like to do a lot of fun stuff too. You okay. know, regular person, go to the movies, go to the athletic events. So Absolutely. you like competition, right? Absolutely. All right, here we go. Yeah. Start the clock. Music mogul and producer that founded Vibe Magazine. Uh, Quincy Jones. Name the author, illustrator of the children's book, The Snowy Day. Um, Nikki Graves. B.B. King's best girl and trademark guitar is named? Lucille. When rapper Keith Cozart takes the stage, his name becomes? Chief Keith. Civil and women's rights icon who was an advisor to Eleanor Roosevelt. Dorothy Height. Tony Award winning choreographer for the musical Fela. Billy T. Jones. President Truman ended racial discrimination in the armed forces with this law. Executive Order 9981. <laughs> All right, my man. Yeah. I don't know how you did, but it sounded like you did a good yeah. job. Yeah, I like Truman. You like Truman? I like Truman. Yeah, okay. I didn't I didn't know Truman. He dropped the bombs. Yeah, he did. <laughs> uh, look, that's the end of the speed round. When we come back, we'll tally up the scores and see where everybody stands and continue on with the competition. This is BCQ, the Black College Quiz. We'll be right back. <laughs> State Farm's presentation of the Black College Quiz will return after these messages. We're getting into it today on the Black College Quiz. Now, before we get back into the competition, we need to see just how well they did. Let's reveal the correct answers to the speed round questions. Question number one, music mogul and producer that founded Vibe Magazine, Quincy Jones. Question number two, name the author, illustrator of the children's book, The Snowy Day. Ezra, Dra Ezra Jack Keats. Question number three, B.B. King's best girl and trademark guitar is named Lucille, that's my mama's favorite. Question number four, when rapper Keith Cozart takes the stage, his name becomes Chief Keith. And question number five, Civil and women's rights icon who was an advisor to Eleanor Roosevelt. Miss Dorothy Height. Tony Award winning choreographer for the music Fela. Bill T. Jones. Last question. President Truman ended racial discrimination in the armed forces with this law. Executive Order 9981. Oh, all right. Now it's time to see how everybody did. Victoria. You got seven out of seven, girl. You got seven out of seven. And that brings you to uh, 700 points. And you're going home with a tablet, because you got a perfect score. Move on to my girl, Farron. Farron, you got four out of seven. Gives you a total of 200 points. You got six out of seven, Thomas. Six out of seven and gives you a grand total of 400 points. Give him a round of applause. 
We're going to keep the competition moving with our multiple choice round. All right, I don't want to hear no problems. Here we go. First category. Category is Emmy Awards, 25 points. Name the first African-American to win a primetime Emmy for a recurring role. All right, Thomas. Uh, that is Bill Cosby. That is correct, sir. This category is first blacks, 25 points. This 60s activist was the first to popularize the phrase black power. Fair. Stokely Carmichael. That is correct, darling. <laughs> this category is geography for 50 points. Which of the following is a language not commonly spoken in Kenya? Vic Victoria. French. That is correct. Next category, headline news, 50 points. This athlete became the first African-American to win the Wimbledon Tennis Tournament in 1957. Victoria. Althea Gibbs. That is correct. <laughs> Next category is journalism for 75 points. Ebony Magazine publisher John H. Johnson obtained the startup funding for his project by doing what? Thomas. Taking an $800 loan against his mother's furniture. That's it. Well, my mama would have had a fit. <laughs> Category, civil rights for 75 points. Ratified in 1963, the 24th Amendment removed what roadblock to black voters? All right, we have Farron. The poll tax. That is correct. Next category is music for 100 points. Name the Texas-based guitarist whose style fuses hip-hop and soul with the blues. Victoria. Gary Clark Jr. That is correct. <laughs> Next category is inventions for 100 points. We can all breathe a lot easier due to the improvement made to the gas mask by this inventor. Thomas. Gary Morgan. That is correct. <laughs> Next category is television producers, 125 points. This versatile producer director called the shots for shows ranging from deaf comedy jam to real husbands of Hollywood. Fair. Stan Lathan. That is correct. <laughs> Last category is music for 125 points. What musical figure is commonly known as the father of the Mississippi Delta Blues? We have Farron. Robert Johnson. That is correct. <laughs> All right, guys, we're headed into our final round, and this is the competition, the wager round. Today's wager round category is civil rights. When we return, one of these guys will be our next BCQ champion. State Farm's presentation of the Black College Quiz will return after these messages. Welcome back. We are about to tackle the final round of this Black College Quiz show. And at the end of this round, one of these great minds will receive $3,000 college scholarship money. Give it up. After I read the wager round question, students will have 15 seconds to write down their answers. And here's the question. Start the clock. What did the Civil Rights Act of 1968 prohibit? Barriers to interracial marriage, sexual harassment in the workplace, race-based housing discrimination, and last, a ban on same-sex marriages. That's it. 15 seconds, pin down, Thomas, put it down. Let's see how we did. The correct answer was race-based housing discrimination. My girl, Farron, show me what you did. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Am I ready? Are you ready? <laughs> All right, you wagered 400 points out of 550. You got race-based housing discrimination, which is the correct answer, which gives you a grand total of what? 950 points. Not bad, baby. Not bad at all. Slide over to my man, Thomas. Thomas. You're sitting over there with 600 points. What you got? 
You wagered 400 points. Race-based housing discrimination, correct answer, gives you a grand total of 1,000 points. Good job. <laughs> Last but not least, Miss Victoria, sitting on 900 top. <laughs> you put all your money on that? 900 points, you wagered 900 points, got it correct, race-based housing discrimination. You have 1,800 points. Come on now. That means Victoria is the winner. Give it up for her. You guys are winners too because let me tell you something, you're both going home with scholarship dollars for yourself. Hey, I want to say you all make me proud to know that our future will be in good hands. I'm Nephew Tommy from the Black College Quiz. We'll see you next time. This presentation of Black College Quiz has been brought to you by State Farm. For auto, home, life, and banking, get to a better state. And in part by McDonald's, deeply rooted in the community 365 days a year. And Walmart, save money, live better. I lost my work at the party. I ain't gonna hang my head.